Ladies and gentlemen, Alec Baldwin is almost certainly recorded. Now, I did a video on this a while back, but in each one of my segments, I give the links to Radar Online, Yahoo, and The Sun. The Sun article... You can see below in the description, the insider claimed the camera was facing Alec, who was shooting in the camera's general direction during a rehearsal scene that was being recorded. Okay, that was being recorded. The cameras captured Alec shooting, but the cinematographer and Joel were behind the camera, so I don't think the cameras captured them being... Okay, however, cameras, lights, and props were damaged from the gunfire. With broken glass, with broken glass everywhere, so it's unclear if the footage would be salvable. That's the sun. Well, it's digital, and very likely going to a cloud someplace, or being stored, you know, somewhere on on the set. So that's not going to be an issue. That sun article states it was recorded. Radar Online, Alec Baldwin's accidental, okay, that ended the cinematographer, her life, I'm trying to, was captured on camera, Radar Online, that's, that link is below. And then the Yahoo article says they were down to one camera and it was not filming when Baldwin's firearm discharged. In the search warrant, the reason I'm doing this segment now, in the search warrant, it says, Alec Baldwin was brought into the interview room at approximately 5.12 p.m. He was advised of his Miranda rights and agreed to speak with detectives. Alec, Alec advised in the scene, he slowly takes the firearm out of the holster. Then dramatically turns, dramatically turns it and pulls the hammer back, which is when the firearm goes off. So he, he tells police this immediately. Uh, there's something going on where... He either came up with this idea, he either knew that there was a modified firearm, or came up with the idea that, well, I didn't pull the trigger of the firearm, so therefore I'm not at fault. But either way, he would have known if a single-action army was modified, or the action was modified in some manner for it to go off simply by pulling back the hammer. He would have paid for that as the producer. But he said it was supposed to be a cold gun, so no flash charge or anything should have gone off. Alex said all the rounds in the firearm were supposed to be considered cosmetic or dummy rounds. Okay, then, then it obviously was being filmed or recorded or taped or on video, on recording, on film, how, however you want to describe it. He's not going to go ahead and use dummy rounds when there's no... when. If they're, if they're searching for a camera angle and it's a tech prep and they just want to know where the camera should be positioned, why wouldn't they be recording that? So that, they, so that they could go back later in the day and say, okay, that angle works, that angle works, that angle doesn't work. I mean, if you're a cinematographer, in the comments section, let me know if I'm wrong. I'm, I can't imagine this tech prep or this rehearsal not being recorded so that they could then decide what looks best by the way happy holidays stay safe happy new year it's coming up in a couple of days and uh to my new patreons i can't thank you enough my patreon is below in the pinned comment if you want to support my work ladies and gentlemen my patreon is below hit subscribe to this channel we're on our way to 200,000 subs people and it's because of you and i can't thank you enough Read my article in The Federalist, my latest one, on the upcoming stock market crash. I will be doing, starting January 1st, two to three segments every single day and live streams on the stock market crash channel. So I will be doing live streams back up again, primarily on the stock market crash channel. And we might not just talk about uh, the stock market and the economy, which unfortunately is heading towards a downturn uh, and a terrible market crash. We could talk. We, we might also be doing live streams on other things because I want to build that channel up. So I'll be doing. I'll, I'll still do live streams, of course, on this channel also. 
but I'm going to try to build that channel up. But hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. Let's continue. That's below in the pinned comment. January 1st, I'll start live streams and uploads all the time on that channel. So, it makes no sense. Alec advised when the firearm went off, he would recall uh, the cinematographer going to the ground and Joel star uh, started to scream. So, the, the director started to scream. So, he knew that... Okay, so this is, of course, showing the world that Baldwin lied. Alec Baldwin lied about the cinematographer having a heart attack or fainting. And he can't say, well, it's hyperbole because he went into it with, in great detail. I thought she had a heart attack. I thought she fainted. I didn't know until an hour later or two hours later. And by the way, it was three, three, almost three and a half hours later. So the George Stephanopoulos interview was filled with lies. And here's the thing. Why am I doing these segments? Well, I would have nothing to talk about. Nobody would have anything to talk about. If 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 they didn't lie so much, or he didn't lie so much, getting people to write, oh, it's a, it was a completely safe set, and what? I thought she fainted. I pulled the hammer back, but I didn't pull the trigger of the firearm. Well, you did the same thing, pulling the hammer back in front of somebody. You you are basically firing at them. If you point at someone, you're basically firing at them, even with an unloaded firearm because that's the that's the mentality you need to have you need to always check your your firearm yourself okay i have firearms you have firearms if you're watching maybe probably and what are we taught the first what the test that we have to take the first and then morally superior hollywood liberal democrats they can't imagine you actually having to take a test or doing anything they just think they just like you know they throw them at you at Target or like Walmart or something and you just catch it and then run and thank you, Merry Christmas. No, it's like a long process. And you never point at anything you don't want to destroy, but also you check the firearm yourself. You must. You always assume it's, it's loaded. Even an unloaded firearm, you assume it's loaded. If someone checks it, gives it to you, you check it again. You have to have that mentality. You can never assume it's just a cold cold gun the assistant director wasn't there the armor wasn't the the assistant director was there the armor was not but why would they not be it, it, the, the fact that nobody's talking about a recording i mean could you imagine if it was john void or dean kane or um you know like any conservative actor or any actor um that supported President Trump or any musician, Kanye West. I mean, anyone they consider a political, you know, adversary, they would go after and not even go after. They would ask the questions I'm asking, like, was it recorded? Because initial reporting states it, re it was recorded. The Sun, Radar Online, state it was reported. I mean, recording. Recorded. Now, there was a camera crew walkout. Why would they rehearse utilizing the one camera left or without recording? Just so they could look at the screen without having it recorded so they wouldn't know which angles work? I mean, what's the point if, if they're talking about camera angles? Or are they going to try to remember the scene but not record it? They have an actual camera there. It's a film set. It's a movie. But they don't want to record? This is all digital. It goes to a cloud. There are all these new, like, um, if you look, because I've done, like, research on the camera uh, software and technology and all that. And it's like there's all these new cloud software, cloud recording cameras and, and software and digital. It's like they would the notion that he's hiding in plain sight with his lies. I mean, the greatest lies of all are lies that, that lies of omission that tell that, that that encourage people not to ask basic questions. 
Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right this second. Have a great, fantastic day. I'll be back in a couple of hours.